Personally, I don't think Peter is stubborn. Okay. In fact, generally people are not really stubborn. Okay. Now, people are only stubborn when you try to control them. I love I love Peace Square not because of Rude Boy. I love Peace Square because of Peter. I don't think they love Peace Square because of the music. I can't keep bringing ideas into a brand that we are growing together and mm. you keep rejecting it even without testing it. At a point I would try to fight back. According to Paul, okay. Eh, the only song that yeah. Pete, uh, that Peter champion, Mr. Okay. Pete champion, okay. the song has a less video, the lowest, the less, views. The lowest views on YouTube. The Do you know views. that song having a low views does not mean it's not a quality song? Okay, what does it mean? It might just be marketed to the wrong audience. When you don't allow people to experiment something, mm. they will feel that thing can be better. But what if that experiment will be the, will be the death of P-Square? So Prince. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think is wrong in the old P Square uh, breakup and the old saga? Well, um, because before this um, whole matter arised, okay, I had I watched an interview of Paul, okay, and Paul was saying that when they came back to the, together recently, okay, that he was trying everything possible to make this thing work. Mm, really? He said before, okay, they used to say that okay, Peter, uh, Peter is a dancer. He's a singer. So it's when they came back this time, he was trying to make everything work. He said, okay, Peter, bring five songs, and I'll bring five songs. We can make everything work together. But Peter said that he needs to control everything. Mm. He said he was even ready to let, to let it go. But he said what made him actually, actually give up on everything was when Peter summoned him to the EFCC. That yeah. should, should investigate his wealth. Okay. Do you understand? So in my opinion... The way Paul explained the stuff, okay. I think Paul is actually right, kind of. Okay. Because the piece we will know from time, from okay. the from inception, was okay. Paul's voice, according to him. Mm. You understand? And according to Paul, he said he wrote 99% of Peace Square songs. That simply means that he was the one that wrote all Peace Square songs. So when Paul explained, I tried to reason, reason to his explanation. Okay. And I realized that. The reason why P Square keep breaking up is because Peter is stubborn. Hmm, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so personally, I don't think Peter is stubborn. Okay. In fact, generally, people are not really stubborn. Okay. Now, people are only stubborn when you try to control them. How, how, how are they trying to control him? Okay, see. Um, Paul came out and okay. said uh, he wrote all the P Square song. For me, I don't think that information is necessary for the public. Because the P Square we know is Peter and Paul, regardless of who is writing the song. In fact, at the point, we don't even know who voiced the song. Yeah, we don't know. At the point, at, at the beginning, we don't know who voiced the song. Do you understand what I mean? Same voice. And from what uh, Paul said, if, from what Jude and everybody said, I realized that uh, Peter is being marginalized. Oh. We, which means that, see, they said Paul earns more okay. because it brings more. Mm -hmm. But because Peter and Paul, they are twins. Okay. They're not just business partners, okay. right? They are twins. For me, if you're into partnership business, mm -hmm. I believe that there should be a, a fair share factor. Okay. In the sense that, okay, we are contributing to this brand together okay. because I, lo I love Peace Square not because of Rude Boy. I love Peace Square because of Peter. Okay. The, and a lot of people Love mm. P Square because of Peter. Hmm. Okay, you think so? Yes. I uh, don't you think they love P Square because of the music. Okay, now when you say music, yeah, people love music for different reasons. Yes, that's right. In fact, I love P Square because of their videos back then. Okay. And because Peter always danced in the videos, you know. So he has his own contribution to the brand. He has his own contribution. To the and brand. don't forget that most of their deals and just made that time came through Peter. Okay, let me tell you something, right? Maybe when they started the music business, okay. then, because you know, at the time they started doing music, okay. the music industry was not advanced. Okay. And so business part of the music was not unveiled to the public. Okay. You understand? So I think at the process, they now re realize that songwriters has a higher percentage. Now, forget about the fact that it's business right now. I'm talking about the music business now. Okay. Don't forget about the, the fact that they are twins. Okay, understand. but we can't forget the fact that they are twins because they are twins. But I and, know. and because you are talking P square here. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something, yeah? Okay. I think Peter is proving stubborn the way he said it because now, 
Paul is taking more money, more mm-hmm. of the revenue because he writes the song, he brings yes, more of the stuff, right? Yes. Me as a person, if I'm in a business with you, mm-hmm. yeah, and simply because you contribute more, you're mm-hmm. taking more. Mm-hmm. At a point, I'll feel like, okay, fine, what if I contribute more okay. so that I can take more too? Which is okay. reasonable. He's human. Okay, let, right? me, let me... And then, hold on. Okay. And then, I can't keep bringing ideas into a brand that we are growing together. And mm. you keep rejecting it. Even without testing it. At a point, I would try to fight back. Okay. And I think that is what Peter did back then. Because he would bring song. Mm. Paul and you, they will reject the song. Okay. Because they feel it's not marketable. But uh, not knowing that, okay, fine. There are other people that listen to alternative songs. Mm-hmm. That it was, some people will actually prefer that kind of sound. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So now, you think people will prefer it like see, because, see, because see. according to Paul, okay, yeah, the only song that okay. Pete, uh, that Peter champion, Mr. Okay. Pete champion, okay, the song has a less video, the lowest less, views, lowest views on YouTube. And when I watched that video, truly, Peter actually championed the whole song. Okay. And Paul actually came at the last verse. Okay, hold on. So but don't do you, you think it's because Peter championed that thing that made it have no, that Do you know time? that song having a low views does not mean it's not a quality song? Okay, what does it mean? It might just be marketed to the wrong audience. The wrong audience? Do you understand? It's it just like marketing a rock song to the Nigerian audience. <laughs> but it market to the Peace Square audience. So that means hold the Peace Square hold audience on. does not embrace that song. You see... When you say Peace Square audience, yes. you are talking about Nigerian audience. Yes. We have diasporas. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? We have, we, have, we have white audience. Yes. So you can push a song not for this particular audience that you have right now. Mm-hmm. So just that it, it might actually cost that, more. God bless you. But, but it is still marketable. Okay, now this is it right. Now this is it right. It might actually cost more. Let me okay. tell you, in the music promotion business, right? Okay. Let me say, okay, we have already have a database Mm-hmm. For this artist, okay, and this is the database that this artist have been following, okay, and this artist have hundreds song in their catalog, okay, following the same database, okay. Now, because of one song, okay. we should not look, we should not start looking for a new audience. Okay, it's somehow a lot of work for the team. Perhaps. Okay. okay, let me give you a very realistic example. Okay, Rema. Okay, when Rema first came to the industry. People started saying, oh, he's, he's Sandy Indian. Mm-hmm. But Rema said something. He said, if I sound Indian, then I want to cut into Asia. I want to eat Indian market. Hold on. Okay. Now, don't just have to spend so much money to push Rema to us. In fact, to force Rema on us. Sorry to say that. Do you understand what I mean? And at the point, we started embracing Rema style. So, which means that this is partnership. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. If I'm to bring this thing to the table mm-hmm. and I really want to bring this into the table mm. and you really want me to bring this into the table so now because when uh, Peter got married mm. there was issues because uh, issue yes they didn't want him to marry that particular lady yes and I feel Peter is a very grateful person because he said this in an interview that okay fine this person was the first investor of Peace Square mm, yeah that's right and he loved this person so I don't know why Rude Abi Jude and Rude Boy they are interfering is you know is it is personal choice. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I can't, I can't be fully committed in a space that I'm not accepted. Hmm. When you say, <laughs> the, 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 because me now, eh, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at, at the music business perspective. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. That's what I'm trying to look at it from. Okay. Let me see now. An artist bring a song. Okay. If there are ten people in the A and R team. Okay. And they said this song cannot fly. Okay. It's just reasonable for that artist just okay, let's work on this song. Okay. Let's rewrite it or let's do something about it. Okay. But that raw material that the artists bring okay. needs to be refined before of you course. go to the pub. Of course. Of you course. understand? What if in the process of refining that product, okay. Peter used to used to be Peter knows Peter knows to be happy with it. Let me tell you why. Okay, hold on, artists, hold on, hold on. Let me let me just listen. Uh, be, before you proceed, uh, have you ever met some artists that they will bring song to you? Yeah. I want to promote this song. The moment you start advising them to change that song, they will stop coming to you. That's where I'm going. Do you know why? Mm-hmm. Because when you alter people's dream, they will remove yourself from your space. So maybe that is why Peter is trying to. Do you know? See, they've not, they've not, they've not experimented this particular new market. And had he it been, them experiment do you it. understand? So had it been Don Jazzy said, "Oh, because people are complaining about Rema," he didn't push Rema again. 
No, actually, actually, Rema, Rema is a different case. We, case no, 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 no. Rema is almost a scheme case study. Because in Mavin, don't forget that there was no there was nobody like Rema before in Mavin. Okay, that's so the, the, the issue with P Square is that Paul and Jude didn't believe in Peter right from time. And when you don't believe in something, no matter what that person put forward, you can never accept that thing. So had it been they gave him the chance, okay, fine. This is Peter's style. Because Peter wants to be somebody too okay. in the team. Mm-hmm. He wants to be Ed. If you have a wife, Mm. And because you feel okay, fine, the wife is not working or anything, it can't contribute to your business. That your wife will feel left out. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I, and at the point, she, she will start withdrawing. Mm-hmm. And then she will not start fighting back. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, I believe that Paul and uh, Jude, Jude should have given Peter his own space to make him experiment. Do you understand what I mean? So, talent. see. But, but when, but, but when, now, when yeah. you don't allow people to experiment something, mm. they will feel that thing can be better. But what if that experiment will be the, will, will be the death of P Square? It can be the death okay, of P Square. Let me tell you something. Okay. Mm. This is how you will know okay. that they can succeed individually or not. Right. When they finally separated, okay. in the first year, okay. Paul made a mega hit. Okay. Reason with me. Mm. You yeah. understand? True. But since then, Peter has been struggle upon struggle upon struggle. In fact, at a point, Peter has to leave the music and start doing other business like Zoom. Let Zoom me tell you why. And all that. Now, listen, what, okay. what I'm trying to say is that okay. these people, the team, might say that that thing might not work. And okay. it's actually, it don't, it did not, in, and it actually it don't work at last. Okay. In the end, it did not work out. Okay. You understand? Okay. But Paul, even, even after they went solo, okay. you understand? Paul still released songs that are hit and hit and hit okay. and hit. Should I tell you why those songs became hit and uh, hit and hit? Why? Because the brain behind P Square was Jude. Don't forget. Okay. <laughs> and Jude partnered with uh, uh, Paul. So it is it is very it's very easy for Pete, uh, uh, Rude Boy to succeed. Hmm. And don't forget that Jude has the business sense. When you have a backing, in fact. Uh, a very good example, uh, Rihanna. Okay. Rihanna is not naturally a good artist. A songwriter, a good songwriter. Uh, you know but uh, yes, yeah, songwriter. But because she had the backing of somebody that can actually help her with the brand and everything, she's succeeding to today. Okay. So you mean because Jude was in the life of Paul? Paul, yes. And not in the life of Peter. And Peter might not actually be a a a a, a an amazing a, marketer. I mean, do you understand what I mean? It might not be an amazing marketer. And that is why, see, no matter how you want to say it, mm. P Square is bigger than Root Boy. P Square is bigger than Mr. P. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know what good. I mean? So which means that their combination, see. Their combination is the win. Is the win. And since that time, in fact, even when uh, uh, Root Boy was succeeding, per se, it was still not in the... It's not actually the, it, it, it can't actually <laughs> the success. It's not in the big ten. A big, big ten at that point. No, no, no. It wasn't the big ten actually. It wasn't the big. Do you understand what I mean? And P Square was as old name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, they are and number one now. Then. For there are a lot of things that make up a brand. Okay. You have the logo. Mm-hmm. You have the colors. Mm-hmm. Now, to you, you might think colors are not important, but yeah. trust me, colors are important. Exactly. We have the people that you know the the marketer sometimes. The, the, the marketer will say they are the most important person. But that's a lie. Now, all these little details makes up a brand. The dance makes up that brand. Mm. The appearance of Peter makes up that, that brand. brand. The appearance of Paul. We have this, we have this gri, gri, gri person, someone that's very aggressive. Mm. Then we have this calm person. It's mm. a perfect combination of a brand. Mm. So this thing works together in the market. And had it been Rude Boy and Jude actually gave Peter that... It's okay. So let's say... They are giving him the chance. So they have this album. I said, okay, Peter, you know what, eh? Because our team selects more of uh, Kine, uh, 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 Rude Boy's song. So we have 10 songs. Let's say we have 10 songs in this mm-hmm. album. We are using three of your own. Mm-hmm. Let's see how it even goes. If Peter sees that the songs are not moving well, at a point, he'll be convinced to follow his brother. Because they're giving the chance to see that Because it's not when, when you're allowed to explore, okay, there's not, uh, uh, in your brother, there's one added in your brother that's. Uh, uh, they don't allow Peking. I mean, they don't allow uh, Fowl make it uh, uh, go go chop outside. Mm. But meanwhile, Fowl is being curious of what is outside. Uh, there. Outside there, not knowing that there is ego. 
outside there. Yeah. So until that far I'll go, I just can't see Igu. You come on back house. Exactly. So which means that had it been they've tested that thing, Peter would have realized, okay, fine, it's, it's not really cool. working. I think he's just and an album I, with his own ideas. And at that point, he will have a closure in his mind. Okay, fine. I think my brother is right. Mm. And that sheer margin, you people are family. I want to assume that this, these guys were making at least a million dollars. A lot. In a we year. making a lot, actually. 50% of a million dollars is 500 million. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You see big money. Yes. In fact, if you own 1%, it's a lot. It's a lot. In an hit song, is a lot. So had it been they've shared it equally? You guys are brothers, and you guys have built something amazing over time. But but I still stand against the fact that they can't share it equally. It can't be equal. See, the only way it can be equal is if the both people, the both uh, artists in the band are songwriters. Then it can be equal. Okay. There is no because an artist have okay. their IPI. Each artist have their IPI number. You understand? Okay. So when a song is written, and I say this song is written. It's written with your name. You understand? The publishing share must go to that artist. Okay, okay, okay. So we okay. can't... Let me tell you it. something. Let me, do you know that Olamide has written so many songs for so many artists and yeah. his name never appeared on, on the It's so the credit. When you check the credit, you see that his name is there. Some. In fact, don't, don't, okay, Don Jazzy in his team. Mm. You'll be sure that Don Jazzy is writing some for some of his artists. Yeah, he's, but he's, he's he will never put his team. name there. No, he's hold on, the hold on. That's what I'm saying. See, um, business is not just about, uh, okay, this is business. Sometimes about relationship. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. And in fact, relationship will take you farther than the, the, the like normal business, business formal world. Mm, so sometimes, right. call it, we did it. And if you notice, it has been, I, from their hand, I, I. Yeah. So are they being? They've been using the word we over we. time. They won't have these issues. Actually, and it, there's nothing bad if they have a question. At the point, they have the same house, P Square uh-huh. Villa, or something house. like that. P Square Villa, yeah, exactly. Do, do we live yeah. together? Yeah, they have P Square Villa. So if point. if friends can build something mm. for a very long time and it will stand till today, look at the band and the band and the Don Jazzy. Do you understand? Know and if you check the biggest complaints in the world. Are built by friends. They, they are built by partners, friends. Which means sometimes they will disagree, sometimes they will agree, sometimes they will just say, okay, fine, let's find a middle ground. Mm. So for me, I would have said, okay, P Square should, should have found a middle ground. Yeah. Jude sh- sh- should have been a better brother. Yeah, that's because right. you can't be taking side, and sometimes when you have three friends working on a project, it, it, it's, it's a only problem. Problem. <laughs> because, because, because they'll be best friends. They'll be best friends, exactly. be best friends inside exactly. the friendship. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So and for me, why it's gonna be a family business whereby okay, fine, just do it. Yeah. Let's just have it. At the end of the day, they are still rich. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I mean? So for me, I just believe that. They could have worked on. And the funny thing is that they, they started fighting after they made all the money in the world. <laughs> Which is not actually not necessary. And they're even getting old. <laughs> they're even getting old. <laughs> Two old men fighting. <laughs> no, three old men. <laughs> three, three old men. Do you understand? So, actually, um, I agree that, honestly, um, the whole piece squirty would have done better. Of, of, they would yeah. have given Peter, actually, they would have given Peter a chance to actually explore. Mm-hmm. And they made that allow Peter to fail mm-hmm. by himself. Obviously. They release the album uh-huh. and it did not go well. Uh-huh. Or they release five, five tracks, then they not they not analyze that, okay which songs are doing well. Simple. But they they give the the same promotion attention to all these tra- all the tracks. Good. The Thank God I mentioned. Attention. Because when you don't give the same attention to a song, it won't do it well. It won't do well. So if they don't give the same attention, let me say that okay, they, they, they will say the budget. Okay, these two songs are the song of focus on this album. Peter wrote this one. Paul wrote this one. Mm-hmm. So therefore, we have we have hundred thousand dollars to spend on each of the songs. Sure. And we're using the same strategy. Mm-hmm. Now, let's spend this money and see how the results will come outside. And then they spend the money, they now check the result. Okay, you can see now. Mm-hmm. Look at Peter, see your results. Mm-hmm. Rude Boy, see your results. Mm-hmm. So what do you think now? I think at this point, you know that, okay, Just now. this songwriting is better than this one. So by then, Peter will be convinced. Peter wouldn't want to leave. Do you understand? The group. Do you understand? I agree with you. So for me, I just believe that Jude, Peter, and Paul should work on something fair. Fair, exactly. Do you understand what I mean? Because mm. at the end of the day, you people are not going to take this money to heaven. Exactly. Even the, uh, this reality they are talking about, when people are gone, people that will benefit the nest of king, they spend money anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I mean? So it is something you guys can just resolve. See Don Jazzy and the band, if after the whole fight, they, they, they come back. together. Because at the end of the day, nobody's an island. Exactly. You need each other. Exactly. And you people are brothers, like blood brothers. Brother. Do you understand what I mean? So I believe if, 
if you guys can see this video or anybody that is very close to them can see this video, then uh, please share it to them. Share, share it to them, them and let's also know your opinion in the comment section. Yeah, share Thank it you them. for watching. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe for other interesting topics like this.